Hello world, my name is Hassan and today we're going to show you how you can use JavaScript to build augmented reality camera effects for AR Studio. By the end of this tutorial, you're going to be able to build something just like this. So it's a little choppy because my computer is doing a lot of things at the same time right now. But what you'll see is that we have different facial tracking going on. We're checking how open the mouth is, and we're also responding to smiles so that we can spawn different particle effects and even some animations. So we'll go through everything that you need to be able to build that, and we'll also talk about the basics to start out. Something that you might want to do if you haven't used AR Studio before is check out one of our previous tutorials. You can find that in the description of this video. You could also download our sample project. That's what we're going to be walking through throughout this tutorial, and it will help if you can follow along with that rather than having to pause the video and copy all of the code over. So again, you can find our previous tutorial videos and the sample project in the description. But without further ado, let's jump right in and let's get building. We're going to jump in with JavaScript basics. You can access the scripts that you have in AR Studio by going to the Assets pane, opening up Scripts, and double-clicking on the Scripts object. Now, if you're not following along with our project and you want to build your own script, just hit plus in the Assets bar, and then you can add Create New Script. But we already have one. So we're going to double-click this, and we see that we have our script here, script.js. Below, I've commented out some sections. We'll get to that later. But right now, let's just focus on the top. So every script in AR Studio starts by loading up some modules. You see that at the top here. These modules are what give us all of the full feature set of AR Studio. So we've added a few here that we're going to be using throughout this tutorial. And the next step is to set up some global variables. Now there are a few important points here. The first one is that here on this line and also the line below it, we see how we can get references to objects in our AR Studio environment. And that is by accessing scene.root and then using child calls with the names of different objects in our scene to actually traverse our scene directory and get references to different objects. So for example, scene is this module that we're loading up. And then the first child that we're accessing is device, then camera and focal distance. So that gets this object, then camera, then focal distance. And then most of the things that we want are within that. So what we're going to be accessing is specifically the text uh, object, and that's within Canvas, and it's called sample text, which you can see right here. So that's how we can get references to different things in AR Studio, and also using the face tracking module, we can get access to the face, and here's how we get access to the mouth. So that's just by accessing the mouth property on a face that we get. What's important here is that faces actually have lots of different things that we can get references to. So you can get references to the left eye, the right eye, cheeks, and so on. And if you're curious about these, the two things that I would recommend you check out in the AR Studio documentation are the face tracking module and also the face gestures module. Now you can also look at all of the other documentation, but what I really love about these is that at the very bottom of the documentation for both of these modules, there's actually some really useful sample code that you can check out to see how you can create some different effects in AR Studio. Now let's get back to this and close out this section of the tutorial. The key part that we are going to show is how to track the mouth's openness. Now we do that on this line. What this is doing is we are looking at the openness property on the mouth, which was set a few lines above, and we're monitoring it. That means that any time that it changes, we are notified of that change. And furthermore, with dot subscribe, we're subscribing to that change. When the, the value actually changes, we can run this function that I have defined inside of here that gets this open val parameter passed into the scope. Now we can name this whatever we want. It's just important to stay consistent between whatever we name and then what we use inside of this function. Now the key point here is that this doesn't have to be mouth.openness. This could be left eye.openness or right eye.openness or maybe mouth.center and different properties. But this paradigm of dot monitor and then subscribing to whatever we're monitoring is very common in AR Studio. It lets us react to different changes on the face. 
So let's talk about what we're actually going to do when the mouth's openness changes. The first thing that we do is we access the text property on that text reference that we defined above, and we set it to the open values new value, and then we do some string manipulation on it to make sure that it's not a really long uh, decimal value. Next up, something that's also really useful in AR Studio is we actually log that to the console using diagnostics.log. So let's see this in action. To summarize, we're loading up all of the modules, we're getting some basic references to parts of our scene, the face and the mouth, and then next we are monitoring the openness of the mouth, subscribing to changes on that, and then we've defined this function to run whenever the mouth's openness changes. Let's see it here. We can run our script by clicking run, and we see that at the top, that's where we configured our sample text to be. The mouth is closed now, but he's about to open it. And we saw all of the values change on the text in the top, but we can also see them being printed out on the bottom. So we can track mouth openness. Who cares? It doesn't matter that much if we're not actually doing something with it. So what we're going to do next is we're going to make it rain dollar bill signs whenever the user opens up their mouth. The way that we're going to do that is again through scripting. So let's go to our script and I have uncommented another section. So this is the mouth detection and emission section. The top part of it should look relatively similar to before when we were working with the text reference. So we're getting references to these two different emitters in our scene, mouth emitter gold and mouth emitter green. You can see those here under the face tracker. And these are just particle effects that we have configured to spawn yellow dollar signs and also green dollar signs. So we get those references and we add them to an array list. Then here we actually work the magic of spawning and turning on these emitters when the mouth's openness changes. So similar to before, we're tracking the mouth's openness via this monitor and subscribe combination. And then within, we're going to either turn these effects on or off. So if openness is new value is over 0.5, or in AR Studio terms, if the mouth is more than 50% open, then we turn on the emitters. Otherwise, we turn off the emitters. So let's talk through how we actually accomplish that. The first thing that we want to do is make sure that we get the position of the mouth so that we can set the emitters to be in the right place. So we can get the position of the mouth by just using mouth.center. As I said before, all of the facial features have more properties than just openness. So for example, on the mouth, we can get the openness, but we can also get the center, which we're getting here. Then we iterate over all of our emitters in this mouth emitters array, and we set the position of the emitter to be the position of the mouth, which is what we stored here. Then we bump it up a little bit just for some aesthetic purposes on the Y axis, and we set the birth rate to seven. To turn off the emitter, it's pretty simple. We again iterate through this array, and we set the birth rate to zero. So let's see this in action on this sample video, and you can change your sample videos by hitting video here, and then choosing between the different options. Now I'm gonna hit run, and I had hit pause before because I wanted to show you right once she opens her mouth, these dollar signs are going to spawn. So you see them there, but then once the mouth's openness goes below 0.5, they are no longer being spawned. So you can see this actually have an effect um, whenever she has her mouth open just a little bit by making this less extreme than 50% openness. What if we change it to 0.1% openness? So now as she moves around, we're tracking the position of her mouth and the particle emitters are following her. That's really crucial so that we don't have a static position of these emitters, but instead we can respond to the face dynamically. So far, we've gone through how you can track different facial features and then respond based on how those facial features change. Using that, you can do the majority of what you're going to want to do with AR Studio and creating different camera filters. But you also might want to go one level above that. Maybe you don't want to track these features manually, but instead you want to respond based on some gestures and AR Studio has some built-in gestures that we can actually 
listen to and more easily respond to than tracking everything ourselves. So in this section, what we're going to do is show how to respond to smiles. This all starts with importing the face tracking module. And at the very bottom of this sample script, I have this section where I show how to detect smiles and then emit particles based on the user smiling. The top part should look pretty familiar, at least in terms of the functionality, but some of the stuff that we're doing is just some JavaScript sugar on top. The key lines are right here, 53 and 54. On 53, we're accessing different smile emitters in our scene. These are children of Canvas and smile emitters, so let's go check those out. So there's Canvas, smile emitters, and under it, we have six different smile emitters. Now, rather than hard code references to each of those, I wrote the rest of this code to just look up those names based on the number that we're in as we iterate through this for loop. And then as we get references to each of those smile emitters, I'm adding them to this smile emitters array. We're going to use them below. To actually track the smiling, we use this face gestures module that we imported above and we access the dot is smiling property. Now we need to pass it in a face. You'll remember that face was defined above. It's face tracking dot face zero. Face is zero just gets us access to the first face in the scene. You can configure AR Studio to track multiple faces, but we're just going to be using the first face, and that's the face that we've been using throughout this. Now, when the is smiling feature of that face changes, we're monitoring it and we're subscribing as before. Inside of here, we're seeing if it changes to be true, so if the, the face is smiling, then we're going to toggle on the smile emitters and we're setting a timeout so that after half a second, we toggle off the smile emitters. And this toggle function is something that we wrote. It takes in this Boolean that we're passing in. If it's true, then we're going to set the birth rate to 40. If we don't want to turn on the smile emitters, then we set the birth rate of the particle systems to zero. And then what we're doing down here is we're just toggling the birth rate of all of our particle effects. So let's see this in action. I changed the video to be this woman because she's pretty smiley and we'll actually get to see what happens when we run the smile detection on her. So it already detected that she's smiling and as she smiles, all of our particle effects are going off. You'll see it really noticeably here. It detected that as a smile and so we spawned all of these particle effects. You might be wondering how we got the effect where our particle systems were cycling through those different emojis. The emojis were actually our th three favorites on the Fused VR team. So Abdo, Fuseman, and I, we have the Slack that we use to do our work together. And those three emojis are the ones that I think come up the most often. So how do we get that effect of cycling through textures um, and animating the textures on our materials? So the way that it works is that we have the smile material. I've turned off the cycling as you just saw, and I'll show you how we built it. So if you go to a material and you hit choose file, what you'll want to do is have a folder titled this way. So something underscore anim underscore blank. And inside of that, you should have a bunch of PNGs or whatever you want to cycle through with a similar naming convention and then numbers at the end. When you select one, hit sequence and you'll see that it selects some frames and then hit open. What that does is it creates an animation for you. This was the one that I was using before, smile animation. And then this one with the underscores and the dashes is the new one. I'm going to set the FPS to three so that it's not too fast. I'll have it loop and I'll also have it start randomly. And you'll see that that is configured to our smile material. And we also have this smile anim texture in the bottom. So let's see that running. So when she smiles, we should see that animation happen. So again, that's how you can animate different textures and materials in AR Studio. We've come a long way in this tutorial. We started with just the basics of setting up JavaScript for AR Studio, but then we progressed to track different facial features and also track facial gestures. If you enjoyed this, Definitely subscribe for more content on AR and VR. Most importantly though, let us know what you want to build and what you're working on. Do you want to see more on AR Studio? Do you want to see more on AR in general? 
maybe VR, some AWS, some Unity, some Python, more JavaScript, whatever it is, just let us know. We love building and we love that all of you are building too, so we're definitely stoked to support you in that process. Let us know what you want to see, and until next time, happy building. Thank you.